I just wanted to show everybody my rodent coil. It's done with 20 gauge copper magnet wire and it's in green. It looks absolutely beautiful. I did it with uh, glow in the dark purple PLA, so I call it the Joker coil. Or actually, Gerald called it the Joker coil. Ben agreed, so it's a Joker coil. What are you going to do, guys? That's what it is. Purple and green, I guess I should expect that. But anyway, let me turn off the lights and I'll show you it glows in the dark. Yeah, buddy, look, take a look at that. That's just gorgeous. Anyway, it came out really good. So, you can see, it just looks amazing, man. That, that glow in the dark is something else. That 20 gauge fit, uh, it barely fit. It stayed, you know, staying in the hooks and stuff, but it did. Let me turn back on the lights real quick. So we'll just take a little look at the coil real quick. They all cross. No issue there. All the way around. Our center vortex. Nice and clean. No issues there. Everything turned out perfect. This thing is uh, a little bit on some of them on the lips. Okay. But the wire itself is so thick that it's super tight. Anyway, that came out good. You can see we got plenty of wire here coming out. So that's good. And then I'll show you this. This is a winding pipe that I use right here. Right around two and a half to two and three quarters uh, feet long. And out of 60 feet of wire that I put on it, that was my remainder. And to be honest with you, I'm happy throwing that away. Just to be perfectly honest, I could make a coil out of it, I could do something else. But I'd rather have it left over than not have it at all. Trust me, I didn't want to come up short. So a little extra was good. And that's 60 feet, 24 times. Yeah, 24 times. Yeah, that it gets exhausting at 60 feet. Anyway, I did it. It's done. I twisted it. I used my drill to twist it, just like Ben said. I took his workshop, I learned, I listened, and I just followed exactly what he said and how to wind it. One over, one up, one over, one up. And then continue around. When you get back to the beginning, start your wind the other way in the counter wind. So that's what I did. I made sure I watched it before I wound it. And then this is it, guys. This is my first look at my uh, rodent coil or rodent coil, however you want to say it. But it's my first look at it and it looks pretty clean. I'm happy with the color, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you.